Welcome to The Daily Good, and here are your hosts, Alex and Amanda. Hey everyone, and welcome to The Daily Good, where we help girls do more than a good turn daily. We're your hosts, Amanda. And I'm Alex, and today we're so excited to explore black history with all of you. Yeah, so if you guys didn't already know, February is National Black History Month in our country, and it's an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans and a time for us to recognize the central role that Blacks played in U.S. history. And from the very beginning, our country has seen quite the lineup of extraordinary African Americans contributing in countless ways to the building of our nation. Absolutely. And you may even recognize some famous names like Frederick Douglass, Sojourner Truth, Thurgood Marshall, Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and Shirley Chisholm. And that's just to name a few. So Amanda, do you know why we celebrate Black History Month in February? Actually, I do, Alex. So our story of Black History Month began back in 1915 when Carter G. Woodson and Jesse E. Moreland founded the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History, which is an organization dedicated to researching and promoting achievements by black Americans and other people of African descent. And then a few years later in 1926, the group sponsored a National Negro History Week during the second week of February to coincide with the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. And that event inspired schools and communities nationwide to organize local celebrations, establish history clubs, host performances and lectures. And then in the decades that followed, mayors of cities across the country began issuing yearly proclamations recognizing Negro History Week. And by the late 1960s, thanks in part to the Civil Rights Movement and then a growing awareness of Black identity, Negro History Week had evolved into Black History Month on many college campuses. And finally, in 1976, President Gerald Ford officially recognized Black History Month and called upon the public to seize the opportunity to honor the too often neglected accomplishments of Black Americans in every area of endeavor uh, throughout our history. And that takes us to where we are today. We get to celebrate Black History Month every February, and each year has its own theme as well as, and this year's theme is the Black Family, Representation, Identity, and Diversity. So now that we know why we're celebrating this month and what our theme is, let's learn a little more about the month as a whole from, from our very own Diversity and Outreach Coordinator, Danae Hughes. Joining us today is our Diversity and Outreach uh, Director, Danae Hughes. Thanks for joining us today, Danae. Hi, yes, thank, thank you. you so much for having me. So we're just gonna ask Danae some questions about Black History Month. Um, so Danae, what is Black History Month and what does it mean? So Black History Month is celebrated every February. It's an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans and it's a time to recognize their role in US history. Um, it was started um, in, by Dr. Carter G. Woodson in 1926, um, and it actually started off as Negro History Week, um, which was the second week of February. Um, the reason why he chose the second week of February was because the birthday of Abraham Lincoln is February the 12th. Of course, he signed the Emancipation Proclamation, and then Frederick Douglass's birthday, um, famed orator and anti-slavery um, abolitionist, uh, was in February the 14th. So that was the reason why we started it. And ever since 1976, during uh, the Ford, the President Ford's administration, we have been celebrating it as a Black History Month during the entire month of February. Awesome, thank you so much for that. That was so educational. Um, so what are some ways that girls or anyone can help celebrate Black History Month? So you can celebrate back Black History Month by reading Black authors. I always say there's nothing like um, you know, starting a new book. So I have two books here to share with you today, or three. Um, one of my favorite books, this is Little Leaders. I don't know if you can see this, Bold yeah. Women in Black History. 
So Bold Women in Black History, there are one page little mini biographies about many different women, black women and what they've done. This is Ida B. Wells. And she is very important to Memphis history. She started the Memphis Free Press and Headlight here on Beale Street. And of course she was an anti-lynching campaigns. So she was one of the first black women to start a newspaper here in the United States. And then I also have little legends, exceptional black men in history and um, and here's a lot of different types of different folks. I love those. Those are so cute. Yeah. yeah. So one more question. Um, why is it important for us to learn about Black History Month, and just Black history um, in our country, and what can we learn from it moving forward? Yes. So the reason why it's so important to learn about Black history, Black history is American history. Um, this is an opportunity to really dive deep and learn more about um, the contributions of Black Americans to our country. Um, from scientists like Dr. Mae Jameson, who was an astronaut with NASA, um, authors like Octavia Butler, who actually wrote quite a few books on um, science fiction novels, um, artists like Alvin Ailey and Ava DuVernay, moguls like Oprah. There's so many different ways that Black Americans have contributed and it, it's so important to learn about them. Yes, I love that. It is American history. Regardless of anything else, it built our country and we have a lot to learn from it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you, Danae, for joining us today and answering a few of our questions. Um, it was a pleasure. Yes, and uh, coming up, we, me and Alex will be heading downtown to look at some black history right here in our very own city of Memphis. Hey everyone, we are so excited to be here in downtown Memphis where Alex and I are going to do a little bit of exploring and see all uh, that the city has to offer to teach us a little bit about some black history. Yeah, the city of Memphis is so rich in black culture and history, um, even to this day. So we're going to check out a few cool places like the National Civil Rights Museum. And Tom Lee Park. I Am Man Mural, uh, the Heritage Trail, the Blues Hall of Fame, just to name a few, so let's get started, come on! We are here outside the Upstanders Mural here in downtown Memphis, it's right across the street from the National Civil Rights Museum, and look at this beautiful mural of all these faces. You're probably wondering, who are these people? Every single one of these people made the choice to dedicate themselves to paving the way for not only Memphis, but our entire country to make it a more inclusive, just, and compassionate place. And when you come and visit the Upstairs Mural, you can use your smart device to scan the QR code and it'll tell you a piece about every single Upstander that's included on this wall. Because all of these people made choices and their choices made history. in downtown Memphis, which is a part of this National Civil Rights Museum. On April 4th, 1968 was certainly one of the darkest days in Memphis history. On that day, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated on his balcony, which is right here, and uh, this crime was a blow not only to the city, but to the nation as a whole. And in 1991, however, the city opened up the National Civil Rights Museum at the site of King's assassination. This museum is really an amazing place and we encourage everyone to take a visit. Right now, they are closed due to the coronavirus pandemic, but don't worry, they aren't going anywhere and there's still plenty to see. Uh, we encourage you to schedule a visit once they reopen or you can check out their website for some amazing virtual resources to learn more. And of course, you can always come and visit the outside. You're able to see the entire motel. Um, and I think room 306 was actually the room. And when they are open, you are able to go into the room and walk through and see where uh, he had his last stay. Restaurant. 
delicious soul food. Check it out. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. It's been so much fun and we hope that you guys learned something and had a great time with us. Yes, it was so fun to get out and explore and to get uh, on location in the city of Memphis. And we really wanna encourage you guys to get out and explore the community that you live in. You may be really surprised at the African-American roots and history that are around you and somewhere that you could go every single day. Well, I'm Alex. And I'm Amanda, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye! Bye.